The head of the House Intelligence Committee says that President Trump's hand-picked non-Senate-confirmed head of the Justice Department should let special counsel Robert Mueller do the talking after the acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker said Mueller is nearly done with his investigation when answering a final question during an unrelated news conference. Before you came into your current role, uh, you were publicly very critical of the special counsel investigation. Now, since you have received your briefings, is there anything that you've seen or read that gives you concern about special counsel Robert Mueller or his investigation? You know, I've been fully briefed on the investigation, and, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, Director Mueller um, delivering the final report, and I uh, really am not going to talk about uh, open and ongoing investigation otherwise, but you know, sort of the statements that I made were as a private citizen, only with publicly available information. Um, and I, you know, I am, I am comfortable that um, the decisions that were made are going to be um, reviewed, uh, uh, you know, either th through the various means we have. But right now, you know, the investigation is, uh, I think, uh, close to being completed. And I hope that we can get the report from Director Mueller as soon as we, as possible. I'm trying wow. to figure out whether that was closer, Mike, to broadcast news where Albert Brooks is sweating, oh, yeah. or the first four years of Scarborough Country. No, it's just the first like, week of Scarborough sweat, Country. Don't sweat. Because the thing is, I've heard about once this. you know you st are you sweating oh. on TV, it's over. And you tell it's yourself, over. stop sweating. Happened to me on stage. Guess what? It's right. just like one of those showers at mm -hmm. the old Comiskey Park. Psh, just it just what? comes down. But what is Whitaker's the issue? sweat and Scarborough Country sweat? That's kind of a jump ball in terms of in trying to answer that. Oh question. no, no, I win that one. Has who can sweat if he needs to. I'm not going to tempt fate and I'm make fun of that. I'm going to focus I'm, on the substance. I've got my eye on All right, so here's the deal. So let's figure, out, let's figure out what's going on here. Because, okay. because first of all, uh, Willie, we have been hearing from one yokel after another. <laughs> for the, and, 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 and we've even heard from Ty Cobb back, like, I think in 1873, that the Mueller investigation was going to be done by yeah. ought to. And they keep saying it's going to be over. This has all the classic markings of a frantic call from Donald Trump, a, an, a, a, an order, a scream. A, a, and I keep hearing people saying, oh, Mueller's over in February. They just busted Roger Stone. Right. You, you have to have Roger Stone. I remember right before they get Manafort, they said, oh, it's going to be over in a couple of weeks. No, you got to see what you're going to get from Manafort first. And now they get Roger Stone. Roger Stone, I'm not going to talk to now going, well, we'll see. Yeah. You know what? Spring is in the air. Well, and if you look, we just put up that quote from Ty Cobb. That was August of 2017. Yeah. Is when the president's legal team said this thing's about to be over. So now we're coming up on the year and a half anniversary yeah. of those Maybe comments. Maybe he was pressured to say that. I think and all he those felt comments. I remember about. we heard, I think it was in May, from the vice president even said, it's time to wrap this thing up. This thing <clears> is winding <throat> down. This is all wishful thinking. This is all projection. This is all putting things into the atmosphere. The difference here is that this is the acting attorney general who theoretically would have at least some knowledge of the schedule here. All right. But it looked to me like he was projecting more wishful thoughts. Yeah, Hi Heidi and Gene are still with us. Um, Gene, just curious. Um, mm -hmm. Did yeah. uh, we, You know, look, it happens. I, I don't want to, but he was extremely nervous. It was yeah. very strange to see the acting attorney general sweating bullets talking about the Mueller probe being close to done. I, I just, I don't want, no need to, to practice conjecture covering a story like this because we just need to follow the facts, but Why uh, you, you there just wonder a, what's going on there. I don't know. There was a deer in the head, headlights um, quality to, to yeah. that appearance and, and frankly to his performance in this job. Uh, and so, it, it, you know, it, maybe it was uh, that, that the president has been yelling at him and, you know, get this thing wrapped up, get something over, I want it over, I want it done. Um, or maybe um, it, it just slipped out. I have, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I, I think it's probably more wishful thinking. Yeah, Heidi, uh, obviously, uh, after that statement was made, you had Democrats on the Intel Committee saying, hey, you know what? We'll just wait till Mueller talks. Uh, big, big guy, you can, you know, conjecture all you want.
And he said in his statement that while he'd been briefed, he was making that assessment based on publicly available information. And so he was not sharing with the public anything uh, that was privately discussed or based on his knowledge of the investigation. But I will say to the point of him sweating under the headlights, uh, wait for next week because that is when the Judiciary Committee in the House is due to bring Whitaker in. When I talk to Nadler's staff and the lawmakers who are going to be launching a lot of these investigations, they say that the starting point here is to, br is to bring Whitaker in and to ask him specifically what his communications have been with the White House about the Mueller investigation. Uh, they say that the Department of Justice has seen really no oversight for the past 15 months, so they want to get under the hood and find out exactly what's been going on at the Department of Justice and specifically specifically regarding sessions being forced out and uh, what Whitaker's